Hello there and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Stocko Gloss. How are you all? I am very well, I hear you all say. Um, okay, so we finished off the big field. Um, I think we're just cultivating it now. Yeah, we're just uh, fairly close to cultivating that field. Um, now, I've been thinking, you know these tyre marks? Um, I think they're done once they're seeded. If you drive over the seeded ground, it leaves marks like that. Um, oh. Yeah, for some reason, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. I don't know if I mentioned that last episode or not, but I've got a new phone. And when I say a few a certain words, um, I think my phone kind of, kind of Googles what I say. I haven't figured out how to turn that off yet. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think I need to fertilise this field before I seed it. Because once it's seeded, you cannot drive on it, I don't believe. So we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to go fertilise this field. Um, okay, so let's turn on, yep, let's go, there you go, the tire marks have disappeared, which is good, let's just fertilise this, now, a few people have asked what the, um, you know, the 36.8%, 37%, what that is in the uh, bottom right hand corner, I believe, that that's the uh, harvester. If you're in a certain range of the harvester, it kind of tells you how full it is. Uh, so as you can see, I've got the inspector mod on, uh, and it's showing that uh, the the roastal marsh, no, the roastal mash, across 595 plus is 41 percent, and actually my trailer is 59 percent. So whatever you're close to, whether you're close to a um, oh gosh, I'm making a Making a bit of a mess of this. If you're close to the harvester, it will tell you the harvester, how full the harvester is. If you're close to a trailer, it will tell you how full the trailer is. So it's just to give you some information um, on how full things are, I, I guess. That's my take on it, anyway. <laughs> okay, so the good news is my prints in the... Uh, I need to do that bit again. Yeah, my um, my tire marks are white, which is great because it, it means it doesn't it won't um, stand up as uh, ruining the crops. I don't believe. So when we when we actually seed this, it will all be good. That's what I hope. So hopefully it'll work. And we'll start selling some uh, some canola soon. So you get some money up together. Okay. I do love this tractor. something really awesome about this tractor, I just, I don't know, I think it's just because it's so big and yellow, and I like big yellow things, and powerful, um, yeah, so at the moment, we've got uh, that little field there being, uh, being harvested, Actually, a lot of people mentioned in the comments, thank you very much for leaving the comments. You know, I'm actually... I was using this field wrong, as I was going from left to right instead of up and down like I am now. And it was getting stuck in that tree, so hopefully that will stop. Um, and also, um, noticing the reason why the... Um, uh, the the hide, you know, hide help, um, Ewan or Zachary just getting stuck or just like wheel spinning on this um, on this field I think it's to do you can actually change the diff I believe on uh, you know you see the gear you see the gears and all that on the like you can have front wheel drive or rear wheel drive and a lot of the tractors are rear wheel you know I think a lot of the agricultural equipment is rear wheel drive and um, so that there needs to be a way of us 
trying to figure out how to stick more power in the, in, in the rear wheels in the front. Um, yeah. I think each, each tractor is probably different. I don't know if this is front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. I would probably say, I guess, it's rear wheel drive. Ah, you can see the axle. It's probably four wheel drive, to be honest. You can see the axle going across. Um, you can see the axle there spinning. Probably four wheel drive, I guess. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's not good enough. There we go. So I hope, um, as soon as Beacon's on, I hope we can. Uh, stop the tire marks on the ground it's been fully cultivated we're fertilizing and then we can start seeding and all is good It should get rid of the tire marks when we seed that we're leaving at the moment. Yeah, we probably just need to go, yeah, over the, uh, one more, one more time. Um... Yeah, we're kind of running out of uh, fertilizer as well. Wow, this field is big. This is probably the biggest field we've ever had, I think, in any of my seasons. I don't know. Alright, the uh, harvester is getting full. You can see the beacons flashing over there, which means he's close to being full. Yeah, he's 85%. So we'll sort that out in a bit. You can actually get like a, a tank uh, that fits on the front of the tractor. Not this one, because this hasn't got a front hookup, but you can actually get a tank which holds more uh, fertilizer uh, for doing larger fields. So it might be something we might uh, invest in. Once you get to the end here, we'll just stop. go okay let's unload you in thankfully he's uh he's facing in the right direction as in the spout is on the cut fields side and not the other side because you don't want to be driving in driving over the crops uh thank you for the uh, people who left the comments that the reason why that you could drive over crops is the driving mod apparently uh, drive control mod, I think is the uh, is the actual mod. Um, I've put a little link in. I I don't know if it'll work or not. I connected to my OneDrive. It might work. It might not. Um, so you can actually download all the mods that I'm using or see all the mods I'm using, and you can cherry pick um, the mods that you want to want to use or not use. It's totally up to you. Um, that's in the bottom of my description. Uh, it's also on the website as I uh, as I said. It did take me a few days to sort out after the uh, video went live, um, but um, I'm a man of my word. Cool, we'll drop this off. It'd be interesting to see how much uh, canola we've got stored up already. Okay. I love it. You can hear the revs just increase as the uh, as the tipper ram is extended. Oh yeah, brilliant. So let's have a butchers. How much have we got in uh, store? Okay, we've got fifty seven thousand in storage. That's brilliant. Bakery is a thousand a thousand pound a ton. Um, green elementary is just over a thousand pound a ton. The mill. Um, 
village grain elevator. I th still think the freight yard. No. It's the mill, isn't it? 722. And I think it, somebody said it's not double, but it just seems you get a lot more money at the mill than you ever do at the grain elevator or the um, or the bakery. So if we sold all that at the bakery, I think we'd be looking at 57,000. Or just over 57,000. So if we sell this at the mill, we should potentially get sort of 60, 70,000. A little bit more. Well, it is a complete guess. What a beautiful, beautiful farm. It's nice having that lake right in the middle. You know, in the summer we get the uh, get the little boats out and you know do some fishing and swimming. Okay, he's empty. Good. Okay, we'll finish off this one field. We've got 13% fertilizer left in our tanks. Okay. We'll finish this off, and then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll get to sow in. And we start all over again. So he's got another pass on the cultivating side of things, and then he can start cultivating that other field. Yeah, we could probably do with another tractor, but um, at the moment we'll keep it uh, lean and mean. Because uh, money, you know, see, we're, we're, we owe the bank 11 grand. Well, actually, 211,000, I think, we, with, our, uh, with our loan. So money's a bit of a problem at the moment. But we've got this big field. I'm quite pleased, you know, in, in a very few episodes we've got this huge field. Um... And this was going to bring in a lot of money. Now those tyre marks are completely gone. Oh no, 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 we're out. Let's go. And fill up. Uh, yeah, those tyre marks are completely gone. Um, which is great news. So hopefully when we seed this, as long as we don't drive over this, the actual seeded, we're going to be okay. I might cut across here. I don't think it's going to matter too much. No, we're okay. I think. I hope. Right, have you seen how much fuel this uh, this yellow tractor holds? Five hundred and twenty. Yeah, like nearly six hundred liters of fuel. That's insane. And fertilizer costs so much as well. You know, fertilizer and seeds. When you try and uh, try and fill these up, it certainly isn't cheap. You see the money just. But I think it's cheaper to do this than it would be to let your hired worker use um, to carry on when the uh, when the fertilizer is empty. So I think that costs just nearly a grand to fill up. Ah, needs must though. Okay, he's on his last pass. That's great. And we get him, uh, cultivating that other field and I think somebody mentioned um, in the comments about um, doing this let's play without any hired help or course play and you know as much as yeah I, I use the uh, the hired help quite a bit and 
course play not so much we'll just probably use that just for selling our crops um you know it's quite i think course play is going to be used for like repetitive things rather than um you know i want to do a lot more hands-on uh farming uh, certainly this this season but um i'm still going to be using course play and i'm still going to be using the uh the hired help i just I just think it's you know it's not un it's not unrealistic to use the hired help or course play because you know if you if you're running a farm you can't do it all yourself um, you know it's, it's practically impossible to, to to manage a farm this size with just one person. Okay, it looks like the cultivating's finished on that one side and the harvesting's finished on this one field. That's brilliant. Okay. Just leave you there. Okay, let's get you on the other field. Oh, let's start the engine. That's it. Undo the handbrake. Yeah, you can see the 29.1%. That's the actual trailer. That's how full the trailer is. So it, it yeah, that that number in the right-hand corner. I think it it just take um, information from the closest object or closest thing that has any storage. Lovely. Okay, good timing. Let's start you. Take the handbrake off. Uh, free pop. I love this tractor. This is my favorite tractor I think on the farm just looks like a good tractor and as well this has got the window at the back here which I love All right, let's start cultivating this one field it is rinse and repeat at the moment uh, with the harvesting because um, you know that's where the money is at the moment this is all we got to make money with And uh, sure, it's not going to take very long at all for us to. Oh, look at the tire marks in this field! Wow, where, drive, where I've been driving across it when it's seeded. That's so naughty. As you see the tire marks, me just driving across there. Uh oh. I think the harvester is, uh... Yeah, he's stuck. Come on. can do it. Thank you. Well done, flower. Off you pop. Go get the seed. I feel the need, the need for seed. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, that's uh, Top Gun, isn't it? I feel the need, the need for seed. Well, you didn't say seed, but um, right. Yes. Let's get you seed in. I don't know what we're going to actually... Uh, oh, I thought that was part of the path then. I don't know what we're actually going to spend our first paycheck on. Or our first decent paycheck. I don't know what we're going to end up buying. Um, probably a cedar and a cultivator. Quite a big cedar cultivator. I think that will save some time. And it's just one operate, Maybe a couple of uh, cedar cultivators. Um, that'll save us a bit of time. But until we can, uh, until we finish harvesting, we can't sell our product, our seeds. So we might as well start seeding straight away. Um. There we go. So yeah, we can't. Um, We can't sell it because we're, uh, we're using the trailer at the moment. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, what we're going to do, I think we could probably do a bit of that. Or some wheat. Uh, some uh, some barley. Um, yeah, we'll do some wheat, I think. Lovely. It's going to take a while, but uh, yeah. That grain is fully prepared now, and there should be no tyre marks in this grain at all. I'll keep missing it. So you have to wait for the next pass to unload you in. And I'm so pleased that the cow shed is actually so close to the farm. And not miles away. So I hope everybody has uh, been a good boy or good girl for Christmas. Father, you know, Father Christmas uh, is kind of come and visit you. You have to uh, leave your comments down below on uh, on what you uh, what lists you've uh, given to uh, to Santa. Uh, for me, uh, what have I written to Santa this year? I have asked for. Um, I'm actually looking at a new monitor at the moment. I've been it's been something on my list for a while, um, so uh, I might. Um, so hopefully, I've been a, a, a good boy, and Santa will give me a new monitor for Christmas. Um, 144 hertz monitor for Christmas. We'll see. We'll have to see if I've been good enough. Yeah, this is the last field, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you seem to have tackled that uh, that hill quite quite well. It's probably because you're four wheel drive, and uh, you're a beast. You're the big yellow beast. Are you getting on with the cultivating, all right? Yep. It's not going to take them too long. So yeah, um, uh, I'm looking. You know, we're using some very basic equipment at the moment, um, but um, yeah, it's working. It hasn't taken too much effort to get, um, you know, to get all these fields prepared. It does take a bit of time, but I'm hoping. And when we start selling our crop, we're going to have some good amount of money that we're going to... That we're going to... Uh, yeah, let's, t let's take a butcher's at the um, uh, the sewing machines that we've got available. So I think it was this one, wasn't it? This is a sewing machine that's so filled. Additional machine offers possible to see directly no cultivating or plowing necessary. So I think this is the one that we was using before. Now this has got a, um, a six metre... Um, oh, what's this one? A nine meter, the horse. That's the beast. And that one there. Oh, that's for sugar beet or corn. This one's for uh, wheat, barley, canola, and grass. Um, I think this is with the sewing machine. You can sew fields. That's corn, and that. Yeah, okay. So I think this is the one we've got already. Uh, you own one. Yeah, we're using the Cavernland DL at the moment. Um, yeah, probably the Pronto Nine SW. Uh, looks a good shape. Let's have a look in mods and see what we got in mods. Um, not brands, category, sewing machines. Okay, so we've got the Kuhn uh, Sotera 3000. Uh, we've got the Rapid. Okay, so this is um, this is a three meter, um, but you can actually 
cultivate it as well. And this one here, working width of 18 meters. Um, and I'm guessing the Kine, Vorigs, Gruben, Order, Plowing, Notig. I think that means no uh, cultivating or plowing necessary. So this is the beast. This is the one that we want. Uh, 220 horsepower. Oh, it does potato. It does uh, sugar beets. It does corn. It does grass. So it, it does all of them. Um, it costs £150 uh, a day. Uh, so it's quite expensive, but it's a big John Deere cedar, which um, for £80,000, you know, you, you're getting a lot for your money, you know, 18 metres. So I think we're going to be having a look at this one um, if we do get um, over uh, £80,000 in uh, once we sell our seeds. Uh, the thing is, we've um, you know, there's only one tractor really that can pull that uh, John Deere cedar, and that's the big yellow beast. But um, it'll save us a lot of time. Not one, well, not to cultivate it, so we can sell all our cultivators. And we just have that one big cedar. Um, oh, and the, to be fair, the big yellow beast is quite cheap as well. Um, where is the big yellow beast? I think it's a mod. Yeah, I think the big yellow beast is quite cheap. They're definitely going to have that one, uh, 100%. Um, look at all these John Deere's. There's loads of them. Quite like that one. Um, there we go. Uh, 220 horsepower, so it's perfect for the same size as um, as what we need. Um, well, although, well, there's a John Deere for 25 grand. It must be second-hand. Um, there's no way you can pick up a John Deere for uh, 25 grand, so we'll have to have a, have a look at that one as well. Um, uh, 90,000 pounds and get you a 250 uh, horsepower John Deere. Okay. Yep, yeah, so there's lots to buy, lots to, uh, to purchase. And also we want to get some chickens on the go. We didn't get any chickens in the last season, so we're definitely going to get some chickens at some point. And uh, yeah, we're just finishing up on the uh, on the harvesting. So I'll tell you what, peeps, we'll be back in the next episode where we'll sell our goods and we'll, uh, we'll purchase some equipment. So uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Soccer Gloss. This is Farming Simulator 2015. Take care and ciao for now.